All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan. And man, what a hell of a week, right? Uh, so we have a lot to unpack. Also, because I'm also uploading this on YouTube, because obviously that's where you're, most of you are watching this. Well, not most, anyway, because BitChute's actually been getting better, and they've also been making more money. So their processing machines are getting better. So I have to actually create two different descriptions and titles because one's going to, you know, I just want to avoid getting banned on YouTube and the other one on BitChute, you know, you get the, you get the real, you get the real description. Uh, so, uh, so someone left. Uh, that's too bad. All right. So I don't even know where to begin. So I guess we'll just go with, um, uh, well, I'm going to the million, I mean, Right now, everyone's like so crazy engaged in the election, but not for the good reasons. Personally, I would just prefer if things were a lot more quiet and I could just, you know, continue to promote my game. So uh, first and foremost, I'm going to this million mega march. Everyone's coming, uh, including people I don't like. And, um, you know, I've, I'm definitely all in with the Groypers and Nick Fuentes until I, could, I can get my own. Our uh, army of, uh, I call them Aeons of Christ, because, you know, I have to work with the stupid trademarks. So, uh, that, that'll be my, our, my army, Aeons. So, because obviously that was the original title of my um, game. So, so we'll be going to hit this. Um, Nick Fuentes is definitely going, so I'm hoping I'll be able to actually talk to him in person and get some uh, input. But the good news is... All my instincts and everything that I've always have known is starting to come up to the f uh, forefront. So Mike Cernovich, Mike Kukovich, uh, he actually fucking said Trump should concede and he's going to lose all his lawsuits. Like that gaslighting, you know, F word. You know, I, I want I want one F bomb. All right. He's a gaslighting faggot. All right. That's what he is. And like I got really pissed off. Now, I didn't I should have archived not photo it. And I, I, I deliberately did not attack him that hard. I just simply quote retweeted him and just said, the hell, we cl see clear election fraud ever. And seriously? And then he ex wants us to accept that? It's like, what the hell? It's like they're all controlled opposition. Right? The only exception might be Ali Alexander. And apparently he's also going. So I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to bury the hatchet with him or not. But I, don't know, I still don't trust his character. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to. Well, I'll have, I'll figure something out. But first and foremost, I need to make my presence known with the, the Groypers. Because at this point, like, Nick definitely knows who I am. So uh, I guess he just wants to see what I can do. All right. At least I'm talking, again, I can get my own army of Aeons uh, to deal with all this, to help deal with all this bullshit. So that's the first thing. Um, if you have a local Trump protect the vote rally, you really need to go, right? Because there's going to be a point where you're not going to be able to go because what's basically happening is we know Trump's going to win. His legal chat, like everything's like we, we've got the house. The Republicans actually have the house. That's why they're not calling the house GOP results. Um, apparently we're keeping the Senate too. So that's because like so far, North Carolina and Alaska of all places has not still not been called. Like, why are they doing that? Right, and because the shit lived traitors to the to America and really uh, the the you know the tribe that I cannot name or hint at has gone so overboard with the you know election fraud, um, what should I call it? Now they're like in a panic, right? Uh, so you know what are they going to do? So one of the things we have to do is in addition to making sure that big tech, because now Microsoft is teaming up. With, something called Parascript to redo all of our voting election software. Like we have to deal with big tech, like both with the voting itself and with the censorship. That has to be the priority. And, I'm, and because Twitter has been such huge F words to Donald Trump, look at how, like, I mean, he, he's been avoiding all the, let's see, where are the, there you go. Yeah, because of all this claim on election fraud, if I know, dispute it. Like the amount of censorship that was going insane, right? I mean, look at all look at all this stuff. Like it, it was getting to the point where it was like forty to sixty, if not hundred percent, of all Trump's tweets were getting you know censored by Twitter. I'm trying to look for the one where they completely censored him. Uh, well, I'm not logged in, so maybe that's why I can see it. Yeah, see, look at all these blue lines. Like, who the fuck is big uh, Twitter to determine who's the fucking president? So obviously, I'm just getting mad. So that's why we have to make our presence known while we still can, because once we win, once Trump's 
election win is certified and all the GOP are certified, what's going to happen? Because right now they're already gaslighting the left. So that's why they're going to just go full out crazy. So obviously we should not be on. I mean, I'm assuming we're not going to be on the street. I'm not going to be on the street. Because what it matters is we support Trump now, get him the win, then he gets four more years. Uh, let's see. I mean, there's so much happening too. Like, um, I think the one other thing I uh, and then we're filing some FCC complaints. But I think the one thing I do want to point out. Uh, oh yeah, and I've been getting all, like thousands of followers, and then fucking f word the Twitter still keep deleting people. So like, I'm still like stuck here. But it's starting to get to the point where I might be able to maybe overcome that. Uh, and more importantly, I see Nick Fuentes growing like crazy. Actually, everyone's growing like crazy. So it just does seem to be a specific problem with my individual account, right? I mean, whether it's still censorship or just simply the nature of all my followers, you know, because everyone just follows back. So, you know, not very reliable, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see. But as long as it's not censoring, you know, the movement uh, more so than normal, then, you know, we can, uh, we can still stay in the fight. Um, I don't know. What, what am I? Ah, oh God, there's so much shit going on. Um, I, I I lost my train. I thought I don't even know what my point was coming in because uh, I was mentioning the FCC. I think I was talking about the big tech. Oh no, I think no. But I already said yeah. We'll just have to just get on the street now because now's the time, and then eventually we'll have to pull back, and then you know the left will just simply burn everything down. Uh, the only good thing about that is it's just going to piss off so many people that they're like, okay, who's actually funding this bullshit, right? And it's going to make the networks, it's going to make people more angry at fake news terrorists. And actually, believe it or not, maybe hopefully more people get angry at big tech because we really have to deal with it. So, um, yeah. But in the meantime, you know, Pennsylvania is going to likely seems to flip once Trump, uh, you know, because we have control of the state legislature, uh, legislatures and the courts seem to be on our side. And we seem to have bullied the entire Republican Party into backing Trump. So let me go over to uh, Twitter.com, NickJFuentes.com. I think he still has it, right? Oh no, he changed his pin tweet. Uh, yeah, right now today he's yeah he's doing all this stuff. Obviously, I'm not gonna go to the first two. I'm only going to because I have my ticket for Washington D.C. and they're even trying to do light censorship about protests too by putting in more coronavirus restrictions. The fucking cunt of D.C. mayor. But obviously, we're all just gonna uh, ignore it, including me. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, um. So yeah, so there's that, and then I think there might be other stuff. Uh, let's see, Nevada. I mean, they they were successful in getting printing so many ballots for Nevada. I don't know if Trump can flip that, but Arizona is looking very good. Georgia uh, is also looking fairly decent. Even with Michigan and Wisconsin, even though they've technically gone for Joe Biden, uh, they might uh, they might still be able to flip that. But I mean, either way, like there's just so many fraudulent votes, it should be pretty easy. And now they're trying to cock block the investigation and the courts uh, legal stuff. So, um, if we go over to Trump, uh, okay, I don't want to scroll all the way down. Let's just refresh this. Uh, we're going to win. We're making big progress. Also, start coming in next week. This is actually important to me personally because we also have to worry about our physical safety. So, we should have our rallies. Trump will, you know, have his thing because he's also planning to do his own kind of rally things too, apparently. And then, then the hammer drops after we have the, you know... Uh, million mega march this coming Saturday then things start to unravel so it's, uh, it's gonna be good uh, it's gonna be good timing it's gonna be good timing now with that being said the markets are have been acting uh, rather interesting to say the least so uh, let's get into that so Bitcoin surprisingly was dropped to 13 I think that's because of the election so people are going nuts but well here's the thing when the last week Bitcoin and crypto was going skyrocketing they were, they were going berserk all right but now that thing, reality is starting to finally set in. Crypto's going down. The regular mar equity markets are also going kind of weird. So Bitcoin's at 15,200 or so. Litecoin's at 57,63. These were a lot higher. Like Bitcoin was almost 16K and Litecoin was almost 63, 65, which is irritating because Litecoin's way below what it should be. Uh, but at least it does go up when Bitcoin goes up. But it goes up by like a factor of 
twice the percentages. But it goes down by more, too, uh, a lot of the time. Because that's how it works. Dog coin, uh, 352 uh, million market cap or so. It's actually doing pretty well. But it's also been getting hammered a lot, too. So I wish you have to see what happens. Because at first, people were pricing in Trump win. You know, fake news terrorist media is calling it for Biden. But there are a lot of Biden investors who really do believe that bullshit. So I think now we're seeing a lot of market adjustments. And I actually don't know. However, this is a very good sign. Dow is doing all right. S&P firing is down just a little bit. Not a big deal. But here's the important part. NASDAQ, the tech uh, stock market is going down by a big chunk and I'm suspecting strongly it's because uh, the Republicans are going to control everything and this time we're all pissed off right all 70 million 71 million plus Trump voters Republican voters are really fucking pissed off and we're going to demand like free speech and everything because everyone saw how Twitter went all out and just censored the shit out of Donald Trump and we're getting very angry then Facebook shut down the stocks the steel Facebook group. So everyone now knows just how bad the censorship is, and we're going to like we're going to force action, all right? You know, because the Republican Party is supposed to represent us, and we're going to make them do that, or they can just simply lose the election and their cushy, you know, job in Congress. So I just want to see if there are other um, things. See, see now that they've stopped gaslighting and demoralizing Trump supporters because obviously they see that we're not buying their bullshit. They're now all of a sudden switching to coronavirus. So that's why you can see all this bullshit about coronavirus because now they want to start controlling our society again. Like it's, it's such evil bullshit and it just pisses me off so much. So the good news is my uh, Rebel is now up to $4.50, mostly from yesterday's gains. Uh, Regent Financial is also at fifteen thirty eight. So basically... Um, I've recovered most of my losses. I'm still down 15,000, but you know, give it another couple of years, especially if Trump actually uh, gets certified as, you know, re uh, reelected as president, which should take at least a couple of weeks, but probably like, well, apparently for some reason, December 14th is the actual uh, cutoff date because in the constitution it says everyone has to select their thing on the second Monday after the first Wednesday of um, of the month in December. It's like really weird. It's really weird, but kind of clear in the Constitution. So that's so that so that date happens to be December fourteenth. So and Al Gore didn't concede, even though he had no allegations of fraud apparently for you know back in two thousand uh, until December thirteenth. So yeah, but one thing at a time. So yeah, so everything is basically. U.S. judge to hear dispute over Google DOJ uh, antitrust law protective order. I, we do want to read this actually. Uh, let's see. Good part. Oh, one other thing I probably want to also quickly talk about is that I finally released the game on Steam. Um, oh man, I, well I did have to put a mature. Oh yeah, this is the mature warning that I put on. Mature political themes, including but not limited to. Rebellion, warfare, death, Christianity, religious topics, censorship, propaganda, mobs, terrorism, and oppression. I think there was a couple things I would like to uh, uh, should do. Let's make sure because because uh, what if I, if I don't put the right date in, it's like oh uh, now you can't watch the page and it's like very annoying to clear the cookie. Um, I know I'm missing a couple things in here, but yeah. So let's see. Yeah, you can still see it, right? Yeah. I have to admit, the trailer I made is actually really good. You know, it's very Christian's like. I'm not going to play it because you can just go watch the thing. But it's supposed to be uh, November 18th. Actually, has Steam gotten back to me yet? Because I'm having a lot of trouble, ironically enough, getting the um, soundtrack to uh, be approved by Steam because there's just a lot of. Uh... All right, well, I have to log into my Steamworks account again, so I'm not going to do that here. But yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, Brazil was 14. What's funny is their ratings board in Brazil, they actually have a spe special category for abortion. And my thing in my show actually has abortion talk. In fact, it's the first episode. But it's not going to be uh, in this particular tower defense game. So I was like, oh yeah, abortion is not in this game. Just give me the lowest rating possible. <laughs> the youngest age if possible. 
So you can just read all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I have a lot of interest in this because Steam is surprisingly a very powerful platform. So, um, yeah, looking very forward to it. Oh, actually, we do want to know the stats. Oh, okay. Actually, oh, I can still see it. So I have 25,677 impressions, uh, and the visits is 12, 1,202. So I have a, like a 5% click rate. So, uh, and because I have to log in to Steam, the, you know, I can't see the uh, amount of wish lists, but it's usually about typically four to five a day. Uh, but I think it's because people just don't wish list unless they really want the game. Also, I'm, 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 I am an unknown. So people are always like, yeah, we'll worry about it later. So I did the math. If I sold 10,000 copies of the uh, Seditionist soundtrack, right? That's five bucks times 10,000. That's 50,000. And then Steam keeps 20% because they they're competing against Epic Games. They still have their, their takes, they still take thirty percent, but only for the first first one thousand dollars. So I, I'm guessing it's because like, well, we need to get our money back for you know all these shitty games <laughs> that we review and host and whatever. So, but if you're actually a real, you know, a, a, a real content creator and like your thing proves valuable in the market, yeah, we'll give you uh, we'll take only twenty percent. You know, that's forty thousand dollars in my pocket, right? And that and that would just be. So good. And then that doesn't even include all the uh, social media power that I'm eventually going to start building from that. So, you know, like, all I have to say is I wished I, I, mean, I saw the kingdom of heaven back in 2010 when I finally threw up my hand. I literally threw up my hands in the air and said, I can't deal with this anymore, God. Just help me with this money problem. I'll do whatever the hell you want. Like, I just, like, I'm at, I'm at my wit's end. And then, yeah, everything literally did change after that. So, um, yeah because now more than ever we need the heroes of history to step forward and save humanity and i'm going to play my part hopefully all of you will uh do the same as well so um yeah so there's that uh so bitcoin stock doing all right here looks like we really will need to use ledger x for this uh jmc coins at three to four like this has been doing okay Right, but now that Bitcoin's been skyrocketing, I mean, there's just so much chaos going on. People are very nervous. 404 is down to 36 to 37, as expected. It's eventually going to crash too. Two by two is going to three to four. Rex is at five to six. Fix will be the last coin to drop, but I'm not sure. If it, I mean, it's the only coin that might stay at one. The other coins here are, you know, going to have some problems. 100 coins doing very stable, so very nice. 33 to uh, 33.7 to like 35 Satoshis of a Bitcoin. So 100 coin will do very, very well. Speed coin is also hanging in there too. But, um, you know, I mean, I figure if my game gets that popular, because speed coins also in, because I haven't done the tweet for speed coin and 100 coin to say that, you know, it's been included in Seditionist Tower Defense. Not yet. I'm only told the game's actually released. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll benefit from the all the free marketing. So that should, you know, boost this number eventually. And it's getting better, but it just needs more marketing. But I'm not going to pay for Speedcoin marketing. I'm just going to do everything for free and have it tank and leech off of our other efforts. Uh, also, my feeder sites that just cover, that, that just curates news is doing all right, too. I haven't checked my Google uh search console yet though see the exact amount but um obviously because of the election but i know my uh theater game site gamercastle.net is doing very well it's like it actually is the most it's the best performing site that i have so you know we're rock solid we're rock solid i mean i even have to do facebook yet. actually i don't have to do facebook ads but i'm still going to do it anyway because i'm after the audience right we have to start beating the shit lives at their own game. So I have to get to the young people before the F words get to uh, the young people. Because, you know, as I mentioned at the uh, beginning of the video, when I saw Mike Cernovich go first, Mike Cernovich, like, steal, steals all the attention uh, and followers and money and whatever, right? Goes to the Arizona rally and then gaslights everyone the day after. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, we have to put a stop to that shit, too. Like, I, I, I honestly do not understand. Uh, by the way, he got ratioed, and then he deleted the thing, which is why I wish I... See, bro, that was too nice, but next time it won't be so nice. I'm going to definitely archive all his shit. 
right? So I can bring it back out in the future. Uh, and, you know, I was watching Nick Fuentes yesterday, and I didn't mention this earlier, I should have, because so much is going on. Uh, Nick Fuentes, like, when we were reading his super chats, yeah, a lot of Groypers were pissed too. They were just like, yeah, Mike Cerucci, you know, he's a gaslighting, I don't forgot the exact words, but basically they were calling out the same gaslighting. And Nick Fuentes was like, yeah, exactly, it's just typical. And then he said something like, yeah, it's typical, you know, Mike Cerucci, he's just a fraud and phony. And I'm paraphrasing, but yeah. Nick Fuentes is definitely the man I will trust because he is real true America first. So um, as to why uh, he's not directly going after Mike Cernovich, there's probably a tactical reason for that, which, and I'm going to ask him about that because uh, you know, I, I, like, I have to put a stop to this somehow, right? But, you know, who and what army, right? You know, because you know, I don't have an army, not yet. All right. Uh, I'm not sure. I, to be honest, I don't think I want to, I mean, I guess we could take a look at this. Because uh, right now I'm only I'm fully in the election mode. Bitcoin cash hits record low. We've got days before hard fork. Okay, yeah, this is typical. People are just nervous uh, about hard forks and stuff, but it always works out. So, so anyway, it's doubling its trail into two and six months. All right, so that's good. Because we're just going to read the headlines. I'm not going to read the articles here. Crypto cries decline in 2020, but DeFi hacks are on the rise. Yeah, that makes sense. Because. Uh, because uh, there's no accountability anywhere, and you have no one to appeal to, so it's, it makes you very vulnerable to hacks. Why be I saw a Bitcoin after our 113% year-to-date gain? I mean, that should be something we should read, but uh, I don't know. I really don't want to read this. Uh, okay, so it looks like Rich, yeah, but this has been going on for a while. Blah, 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 blah. We risk, yeah, uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing new in here. All right, can close that. Uh, okay. All right. So first things first. Let's actually refresh this because they because Emily does seem to update her thing. Okay. So even the Dow's going down actually. Okay. So I know a lot of stocks mixed as vaccine euphoria abates. Tech selling continues. Oh yeah. What was the Nasdaq at? Two minus two fifty. All right. Yep. Okay. Stocks were mixed. So I think. All the Joe Biden idiot investors are now realizing, shit, Trump might actually win. Stocks are mixed Tuesday because you could already tell tell from, I mean, you can't say because it's in, I think it's Portuguese or Spanish, but probably Portuguese because Brazil speaks Portuguese. Because uh, they're now shifting the narrative. The fake news and Twitter trends, they're all shifting their narrative, right? Because they're seeing, they're seeing the writing on the wall. So stocks are mixed Tuesday morning as investors retain an initial wave of optimism over... A promising vaccine, because uh, I'm not taking the vaccine. It's specifically designed to harm you, so don't take that shit. Like if you have to pay the financial penalty, like I probably will in New York, uh, just um, what you call it? Uh, yeah, pay the penalty. Tech shares remain under pressure, and the Nasdaq dipped further after Monday's losses. News that Pfizer vaccine candidate was more than effective in preventing coronavirus patient in clinic trial field. Blah blah. blah. Let's see, with the latter index adding as many as 16, 10 points or 5.7%. Oh, wow. So, oh, yeah, that's the thing. Yesterday, the market skyrocketed like crazy. So, today, go, the market's going down relative to that. It's actually not that bad, actually. Huh, interesting. Because that is true. Because remember what I always say markets go way up, especially yesterday. So, it has to come down, it's a pullback. I think the surprise here is efficacy. I think you have poll investors. For this, the effect of the physical okay. Uh, more about the kind of coronavirus, Eli Lilly says that to I theory for treating mild to moderate corona. The uh, shares of cruise lottery, which each day bet for an increase, gave back some gains are surging during the regular. Oh, so even so, even the tourist industry uh did better. Okay, that time I led the market's highs earlier this year did not print Monday's rally. Ah, this is what I want to know because I didn't check. Tech stocks. Many of the tech stocks that had led the market higher earlier this did not. So tech stocks did not go up yesterday. Yeah, because my Microsoft stock, I only have like 35 shares, but apparently it's worth like seven, like $8,000, which is insane to me. Um, yeah, it actually went down a little bit yesterday. However, the continued sell off to the newer investors, a lot of position software names that had climbed throughout much of 2020. Okay. 
So this this could be a very this is technically anecdotal, but this could be a good indicator that people that investors are like, oh yeah, big tech's finally gonna get their the ass ramming that they deserve because there's a lot of really pissed off conservatives, and I'm one of them. A like successful vaccine has been widely viewed by investors. Blah blah blah. blah. Blah, blah. Still, the distribution of a vaccine for Pfizer, blah, 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 maybe, okay, yeah, so this thing is mostly, uh, yeah, yeah, we, I only care about the uh, the big tech stuff, oh, wow, yeah, look at that, but I mean, te technically today is supposed to be a, it should actually be a fairly big down day, like, the Dow could drop like 400 points and it wouldn't be a problem, because that means this week would be a net gain of 1,200 points for the Dow. You know, and I do hope the Nasdaq goes 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 to shit too, because fuck big tech. But you know, that's just how it goes. All right, judge to hear dispute over Google antitrust. Okay, U.S. Judge said he will consider arguing that a dispute over related to the protection of confidential info in the DOJ antitrust. The uh, directly governing Google to follow by Fry position saying I'll line up her respective positions on disputed terms of protected order. Uh, that was given by the government by third parties. Okay. All oh, right, because Google doesn't want their algorithms and other like bad shit to be made public, and I assume the DOJ is also going to be like, nah, you know, we th this is in the public interest. So, and obviously Google and big tech are complicit in this election fraud. So there's there's also a criminal incentive to hide this information if possible. Just as far as to Google on October twenty, accusing them of using market muscle to hobble rivals, challenge the power, influence and blah, blah, blah. Google also said Friday, Google also said a Friday would not file a motion to dismiss the lawsuit, but would fight it in federal court. Oh, okay. Meta was set as the, 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 ah, so, so that's interesting. So Google's gonna actually fight this in court. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, I mean, there's so much corruption. Google probably does stand a chance to um, reasonably get away with this, as, as opposed to Microsoft, where they did not get away with it. But on the other hand, we're not going to wait on the lawsuit. We're we're going. I'm hoping Nick, like Nick Fuente and I, are probably on the same wavelength. So chances are he must have already have figured out if we get past this. One of the first thing, the first thing we have to do is keep pressuring the GOP to actually deal with big tech censorship. Because if we don't do that, it's going to be over for us in 2022, especially 2024 when Trump, Trump, when Trump leaves office. So, because I don't know who, because I honestly just do not see Kanye West being that effective of a president. On the other hand, he's not going to harm us. That thing I will accept, right? He will not harm us, but he's not going to put up with any of this crap, right? I mean, he's not, I mean, he's not going to be able to successfully deal with all this crap. So, you know, but hey, if he could just at least hold up, hold them off for eight years, right? Then that means when we get our, our candidate in 2032, you know, then that's when, you know, things really pop off, but that's 12 years from now. So, but none of that can even matter if we don't deal with, you know, big tech, because I also watched a, a monologue of Tucker Carlson that I assume he did last night. Yeah, he actually brought up well, so many good points. And the point he ended, he, uh, he devoted his last 10 minutes of his monologue. He said that we have to deal with big tech. The fact the, that them, them having the ability to suppress critical information during voting is like really bad. Like he did it a lot more eloquently. I'm just spe uh, speeding through everything, but. Uh. I don't know what's our thumbnail going to be because we didn't really because you know, these Bitcoin headlines are like whatever. Um, I think this is actually all right. I guess right. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash. Now all I know. JFC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right side of this page so you can continue growing this channel and fighting the good fight. Um, oh yeah, I have to update my YouTube thing so that it includes the link to uh, Seditionist Tower Defense because uh, so far, uh, so far, so good, you know. So 
Anyway, obviously I'm done for the week. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I personally have to do. Because I was supposed to go and forgive, tell my mom and dad I forgive them. Because I have to do it in person. That's how you confront your fear. Um, and then, uh, but obviously I'm going to Washington, D.C. March this Saturday. So I have to push back my salvation until I believe next week. Yes, but next week is also next Wednesday, the 18th of November, so that's when my game is released, so yeah, I guess I'll have to do it in two weeks, and then that's a, and then I have to visit other family for Thanksgiving, so I don't know, it's going to be, uh, be pretty busy for me the next couple of weeks, but you know, one thing at a time, right? Anyway, go to your local Protect the Vote Trump rally for some reason. Deep state F words are not really uh, challenging us on the streets, which is good because obviously we, we don't want violence. Uh, but you know, now is the opportunity. Um, after Saturday, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm probably not going to go to any uh, thing. I mean, maybe I might go to a local like Trump rally here in New York City, right? But those are very rare. Also, I think De Blasio still has this city on lockdown. It's like such bullshit. Anyway, um, I'll see you all next. Tuesday in this video um, we'll see how it pans out because Trump is Trump's lawsuits are working and he's got the he's got the backing of everyone oh this is actually a new tweet um ballot I just like the earlier I told you so uh, I don't understand what he, ballot counting abuse I don't know what he's talking about but I'll retweet him later uh so yeah so see you all next week thanks for watching uh you could probably continue just uh continue accruing your uh, crypto but we're not going to be out of this just yet <clears throat> especially since i don't know see here's the thing on the one hand biden see biden support biden investors i mean they know trump won but how much of it like there's just too many confusing things um but yeah, it looks like they are dumping their big tech stocks. So that's good. But everything else is doing very well. So non-tech stocks, who are not part of this conspiracy, is doing very well. So the bull run will continue. But it'll just be very bumpy until uh, you know this election crap gets resolved. In, uh, preferably in uh, Trump's favor, which it will be. Um, so yeah, see you all next Tuesday. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, Speedcoin. Actually, now that I have my game out, Steam, uh, I'm gonna have to mute this tab because I don't want to. Because this thing will always auto play. So, oh, it does auto mute already. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, I should just mute it just in case. Uh, we'll put this over here. So, uh, uh, what did I say? Speedcoin, seditionist tower defense. All right. You know. So, uh, oh, we need a thumbnail. Yeah, here we go. Thumbnail.